So you're a console gamer and you're considering taking your gameplay live to popular platforms like Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook, but you have absolutely no idea how to start. If that's you, stay tuned. Welcome back to the Stream Loots YouTube channel where we talk about everything streaming and Stream Loots. In today's video, I'm going to take you through how to set up your console to be able to stream live to popular platforms like Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook using an awesome device called a capture card. Now, if you don't know what a capture card is, it's basically a small device that links between your console, your monitor, and your PC, or whatever you're using for streaming software, and takes the signal from the gameplay of your console and translates it into a way that can be used by your streaming software. Simultaneously, it sends a signal to a monitor that you have set up for your gameplay so that you can game without any sort of latency. Now, some of the best brands that you can look for capture cards from are gonna be Avermedia or Elgato. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna be using my Elgato HD60S. Now, the Elgato HD60S captures gameplay at 1080p, 60 frames per second, which is a very nice quality for any stream right now as most streams cap out at 1080p 60 frames per second. But regardless of the capture card that you choose, you can go to either Avermedia's site or Elgato's site and they can guide you through what you might want to get for your current situation with your equipment. Whether you're streaming from a desktop or a laptop, each of the brands can help you decide what is gonna be best for you. So with all that being said, let's take a look more specifically at how to set up this equipment, your capture card with your computer, your monitor, and your console. And then we'll also show you how to add this into your streaming software to get you ready to go live. When we take a look at the Elgato HD60S, we're going to notice four different ports on this particular device. There's going to be an analog audio in, and this port is used to add additional audio to be captured by the device. You're gonna notice an HDMI in, which is used to capture the console gameplay. This is what you would connect directly from your console to the device. And then you're gonna notice the USB out, and this is where the device sends the gameplay signal to your PC or your laptop or whatever you're using to capture the gameplay and send it to your streaming software. And then lastly, you're gonna see the HDMI out, and this is used to send the signal from the device to a monitor, which is what you would use to play your game. Once you've made all of the necessary connections between your capture card and your monitor, console, and PC, you can then begin to add it into your streaming software, such as Streamlabs OBS as a video capture device. Let's go ahead and take a look at exactly how to do that now. Once you're in your streaming software, and for the sake of this video, we will use Streamlabs OBS for our example, you can go to your scene, over to your sources now right now I have an image in this particular scene but if we want to add our video capture device what we're gonna do is go to the plus sign here and then we're gonna search for the kind of source that we want to add and for this we want to add a video capture device and then we're gonna click add source we'll name it what we want and then click add source and then we're gonna be able to search our devices connected to our PC or our laptop right in this field here now I have several devices but the one that I'm looking for is the Elgato game capture HD now by default this is going to be capturing at 1920 by 1080 at 60 frames per second if you want to make an adjustment to that simply go down and click custom and then it'll allow you to make adjustments to the resolution frame rate and a few other settings that you might not necessarily need to uh, adjust. In most cases, you can leave this set to device default. Now that you've added the source, you'll be able to adjust it to whatever size you'd like, depending on the scene that you're trying to create. In most cases, when you're doing a full screen gameplay and you want this to be filling up the entire background of your screen for your viewers to see, you can simply go to transform and then fit to screen and it'll fill up the entire scene. Now, before we go live, we have to understand that this device is now added also into our mixer for the audio side of things. So we're going to want to check into the audio level of this video capture device, and we're going to want to adjust that depending on the game's particular volume. Once you have the video capture device's volume set to a reasonable level that balances between the gameplay audio and your commentary, you're all set to go. And that's it for this video, you guys. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope that it was helpful. If it was, please let us know by giving us a thumbs up. 
And we would love to hear back from you in our comments section below if you are using a capture card, which capture cards you're using, which ones you enjoy the most. And we would also love to know if there's anything else that you'd like to talk about. Please let us know in the comments section below so that we can help you guys continue to make a living doing what you love. Also, if you ever want to chat about anything related to streaming, please stop by the channel. It's twitch.tv forward slash preacher FTW. I stream Tuesday through Friday, 11 to 6 p.m. Eastern, and then again on Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern. As always, to stay up to date with all things streaming and stream loots, make sure to click that subscribe button right now so you don't miss out on the future content that we have coming out. Thanks again, and we'll see you guys in the next video.